pulse oximeter. What is it and why? Hello, my name's Dan, and if you like gadgets, then you've come to the right place because I love gadgets and I am testing this one today. It's called a pulse oximeter. Now this is essentially a medical device, but it's so super cheap and it's something that I discovered basically by going to the doctor like last year. Um, I had flu or I'd had the flu for the past week and I went for a run and my lungs were basically on fire. So I kind of panicked. I was like, what the hell's going on? I'm not usually like this, usually quite fit and my lungs quite uh, able to cope with a bit of running. She just put this on your finger. So I put it on my finger and she was like, you're fine. I was like, how the hell can this thing tell you that? She knew that my lungs were fine because this thing detects how much oxygen is in your blood. And I was like, how the hell does it do that? And she explained what it was. She told me it's called a pulse oximeter. And basically I went home and Googled it and you can get these things for like $10, £10. I think it's pretty handy. I think every home really should have one, especially if you are prone to these kind of things. You have asthma, if you have elderly relatives, it also detects your heart rate. So that's pretty cool. And obviously I'm not a doctor, so don't you know just rely on this one thing. I just think it's a pretty handy thing to have like a thermometer or something. Um, and I'm a really big fan of having like preventative things around your house to stop you having to go to the doctor. Because if I'd have had this, then I wouldn't have had to waste the doctor's time or anyone else's time. So I'm gonna show you how this works um, and how to use it and kind of what it does, I guess. This little thing takes two AA batteries. So all you have to do is open it up like that, like a little crocodile thing, and put your finger in there right at the back, um, turn it on, and it will automatically just start reading things. So if you can see here. So basically what this says now on the screen is that my heart rate is at 80 and my oxygenation level is at 97, which is pretty much normal. So that's it. That's basically all you have to do. And um, even as I'm talking, it literally measures your heart rate as constantly. And when I'm talking, it's going up to 140 and that's why it's making that noise. <sighs> Calm down, see? So, and then it will just turn off automatically when you're done. And that's basically it, guys. I mean, it's just a cool little thing to have, I guess, just in case, you know, might take a peace of mind. It, like, it would have helped me after I had this flu to make sure my lungs weren't dying. And I'll tell you how it works, because I read up on it. So um, it knows how much oxygen is in your blood because it has this red light. Don't know if you can see in there. And it also has a sensor at the top as well. So a red light here and then a sensor at the top. And depending on how much red light makes it through your finger and into the sensor, it knows how much oxygen is in your blood. So obviously, depending on how much oxygen is in your blood, more or less light, I'm not sure which one, will be reflected back. So um, that's how it detects it. And it obviously det detects your pulse because there's a pulse going through your finger. So it can just detect that pretty accurately. Just thought I'd tell you about it. Hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I have more interesting gadgets coming up. Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoy this. My name is Dan, and I hope you enjoyed this gadget, which I showed you. Bye.